Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial on um, the Dr. Vocorex that I uh, put together. Um, the actual combinator patch sounds something like this. to build it. So let's first start by creating a combinator. Inside the combinator we're going to create a 6-2 mixer. We're also going to create um, a Dr. Octorex loop player and underneath that we're going to create a um, BV512 digital vocoder and now we're going to hold shift down and create another Dr. Octorex loop player and let's flip around to the back. Um, actually, between the vocoder and the Dr. Octorex, we're going to hold shift down and we're also going to create a spider audio merger and splitter. We're going to send the outputs to the merger side and we're going to send the output of that to the modulation input. So this Dr. Octorex up here is going to be our carrier. And then this one down here is going to be our modulator. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the oscillator pitch all the way up. We're going to send the oscillator pitch into um, one of the bands. And we're also going to send the voice filter envelope to one of the other bands here and the voice one filter envelope to another band over here. So this way we're splitting up some of the bands. Um, now when you play it back, um, let's just open this up and load a loop. I'm going to take the drum and bass loops um, and I'm going to take, let's see, let's do optical and then down here we're going to open this up as well and since this is uh, 165 beats per minute we're going to take another loop that's 165 beats per minute and we'll take a lost kick. Let's uh, actually no, let's take the uh, science. Let's hear how that sounds. <clears throat> so now this one's going to be modulating the other Rex up here. So when you play it, you notice these are your two filter bands that are up here. That's kind of how it sounds. So now what you can do is delete out the rotary labels. And we'll start programming a few things. Um, on the vocoder, we will use rotary one to do the dry wet of the vocoder. Um, so this is your dry wet. And rotary 2 will be your shift, rotary 3 will be your mod, um, oscillator, uh, envelope, or actually, sorry, this should be the carrier, and this one's going to be the mod, oscillator, envelope, uh, and then this one's going to be your hold. And you still have three other buttons that you can program as you wish. So on the vocoder, we'll take button one and we'll apply a hold. Uh, and then the shift is going to be on rotary two. So we will take the shift feature there. Um, on the carrier, we're going to do the oscillator envelope on rotary three. So that'll be oscillator envelope amount. And then on the modulator, Rotary 4 will do the oscillator envelope amount. And that will sound like this. So that's your dry wet factor. This is your shift. This is your envelope. 
envelope for the carrier. And this is your envelope. the modulator. Now once you have this under your belt you can do a couple of other neat things which um, I'll show you here. In this combinator it looks a little nutty but what we've done is if you turn it around you'll see I've actually uh, used all of the ins and outs for the vocoder bands and I've tied them to these two rotaries here. This is your um, out bands and this is your in bands. So when you play it, you'll notice this is um, going full force because we have the reverse, reverse bands here. If you switch it, it's only going to have one band going through. And you can control that using this rotary. See how the bands shift over here. And then the vocoder out is going to the modulator oscillator pitch. And the other two are the same. We've got the shift, we've got the dry wet, and I've added an instant pan. So it pans the, uh, the modulator and carrier. And it's a bit of a uh, complex setup because you're using all these Thors to patch through your CV um, and that's kind of the the way it works and uh, so this patch will be available on my blog um, and you can go down there and download it at reason101.net so um, that's pretty much all that I had to show you today uh, that's just one way you can you can loop your uh, or you can use your loops to uh, get a little creative um, by using the bands of vocoder to um, manipulate them. So thanks for watching. I'm Rob, and again, my, my website is reason101.net. Um, this patch will be made available there. So go there, download it, read the article, and have some fun. Thanks for watching.